off the field, on the field stuff, uh, making sure we've been catching extra balls after practice. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely ready. Do you like what you've seen out of some of the young receivers? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, not just the young receivers, but the young DBs, the young defensive linemen, offensive linemen, just the whole team as a whole. Uh, all these guys come in hungry, and uh, they've been pushing me to uh, go to another level. Palmer and Murphy, what have you seen? How would you describe what, what they've seen, what they've done so far in camp? Uh, they've been working hard, you know, uh, just like every other receiver. Like I said, in the DBs, we just all been working together, just making each other better as we go on through this count. When you have a receivers coach who's accomplished what he's accomplished here, I mean, does it give you any extra incentive going in to see what he has done in the past? Definitely, you know, every day you, you can't go by without looking at his face and just seeing a quarterback that went perfect, um, national championship. And uh, I'm still, I still haven't seen that uh, national championship ring, so appreciate the reminder. <laughs> still hasn't brought it out, huh? <laughs> still hasn't. How often do you remind him? Um, I haven't got to remind him lately. We've been working on count and just getting better every day. What do you say these coaching styles like out there as a wide receivers coach? Um, coaches is hard, you know, make sure uh, we're doing what we're supposed to do. And he just he just wants us to make plays, and that's something he stresses in the room. That's what wide us do, and that's what we're going to continue to do. He's talked about the way you kind of matured since, since spring practice, just in terms of knowing your role, knowing what he wants from you. Were there any discussions you had with him, or how do you feel you kind of changed since? Um, not so much. Um, not just T, but the whole team as a whole. We've just been working together on getting better every day and just playing your role. That's just all you have to do is do your job, and that's all we're just focusing on. Who's made the most impressive play of camp so far on the other side of the Oh, it's been too many just to name out one, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, it's just a lot of players out there. Um, from the running back position, all running backs have made some plays. Wide receiver, all receivers made some plays. You've, we've seen some pancakes from both sides of the ball. We're just ready to go. That's it. How would you compare uh, Alante and Bryce from last year to this year? Just getting better. I mean, that's a, that's the that's the job. That's what you're supposed to do when you come to camp is to work on getting better. And uh, like I said, the DBs and receivers, we've just been iron shopping iron. It's always been. What have you seen from Warren? Working hard, working hard. I love it. Um, and, you know, he's just bringing along, um, you know, the other players too. And just like that, uh, we've been helping him out as well. Juwan, can take me through, uh, you know, everybody knows you got a competitive streak on you. Yes, sir. On the other side of the ball, who's got that same He's got that competitive streak. streak. Uh, that you go against. When you go against, who are you like? Man, this guy's tough. This guy's going. Um, I say, I say, most, mostly everybody. You know, everybody got that day when they're not. You know, uh, going. Mostly everybody has that day. They're not uh, practicing that good, and that's just our job to pick them up because everybody has a talent and capable of playing at their best ability. How do you feel physically right now? Oh, I feel good. Uh, way better, uh, you know, since surgery. <laughs> so I'm feeling a whole lot better. And uh, I'm out there running really good. Uh, knees feel better, and I'm just ready for the season. Do you want to, are you managing? Are you managing it? Are they managing you different with, with uh, the knee stuff, or are you just? You yeah, we're trying to. We're trying to. We're trying to manage it, but I'm still practicing. I'm going 100. Um, percent You don't see a black jersey on me or nothing like that. So I feel good going out there. I tell coach, don't hold nothing back. When guys talk to you on the other side of the ball, does that? Oh, uh, what like kind that? of talk? What kind of talk? Well, just like, like trash talk. <laughs> 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 I had to know. I had to know. I mean, you know, there's going to be some trash talking out there, but that's what players do. Uh, I love it. Uh, personally, I love it, but um, it, it, it's just another motivator. It's, uh, that's for everybody. We always just trying to make sure we get better every day. Are you more likely to start the trash talking? Am I the what? Are you most likely to start the trash talk? Ah, uh, no, sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't trash talk at all. <laughs> Who's the best trash talker of the young guys? The new guys? Uh, you know, they're just out there trying to uh, make sure they're uh, playing the right rep. So I really don't uh, get to go against them too much, you know. Um, but we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> so you're saying nobody's on your level in terms of trash talking? Like I said, I don't trash talk. <laughs> what is trash talking? Where is the level of competition between the wide receivers and DBs as, compo as compared to where it was last year? It's just a whole lot of competitive competitiveness, and um, I just love it out there. It makes me better. It makes everyone better out there, and that's what we need to have a winning uh, caliber team. Jawan, the coach has talked about, you talked to us about the need to be consistent. As a veteran guy who has done this and you know what the, you know, what the grind's going to be like, how do you – how do you get guys to be more consistent? How do you preach that as a leader? Um, I just come out there every day with a high, intense energy, um, a level of play, and um, I just I like that, and it's just contagious. You know, everybody comes out there and they're trying to match that level, um, level of energy, and that's just all we need. You know, everybody just come out there and just give their all, and, it, and it'll all take care of itself. What have you seen out of Jim Chaney that makes you confident since offense will be better? 
Um, yeah, but Jim Cheney, he's a great offensive coordinator. He just knows how to put people in um, certain matchups to go win, and that's just something we need here, and that's something as players we're going to have to uh, fulfill. Can you play any of the receiver positions? What has changed with Jared's game uh, since last season? Um, I want I want to just say too much. He's always been a good quarterback. He's just you know just as any other player. He's got a lot to work on, and every time, every day, we're going to go out there and work on it. You've been through a lot of fall camps. How is the team project different this year compared to years past? Um, offensively, I think we're more explosive this year. Um, but that 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 will um, that will lead the time will tell. Can you can you play any of the receiver spots? Yes, sir. I can. Can most receivers do that? Are y'all interchangeable? That's what we get taught to do, so I, I believe so. so when you say more explosive, what, what do you see from these guys out there that makes you think that? They were more explosive this year? Um, starting off with just Jim Cheney, you know, the playbook that he brings in this offense uh, automatically makes it more explosive. And he uh, also believes in us as an offensive team, and we're just going to come out there and work each and every day. Is it probably hit you yet that it's your, this is your final preseason camp? Could you repeat that question? Does it kind of hit you yet? This is your final preseason camp? Oh yeah, it hit me. It hit me. Uh, first day of spring, it hit me. You know, this fifth year senior. Um, I definitely feel it. Uh, <laughs> it feels good to be out here and just to be out here with my teammates and watch them grow as they watch me grow. And uh, we just can't wait to get kick the season off. When you had your surgery. Was it? Were you concerned that it might jeopardize part of your season? Oh, uh, not at all. Not at all. I came out of surgery walking. If that tells you anything. Are you further along now than you thought you'd be in the, in the recovery? Like you're doing better this first week. Oh well, we talked about this way before the surgery even happened, and um, we're exactly on schedule. Uh, Geronimo and the training staff—they do a great job, and uh, we've been in day in, day out with um, recovery, and I just feel great. I feel great. So, what if the staff says, "Hey, we're going to give you a, a day off or a maintenance day"? Are you going to say no? Am I going to take that? No way. No way. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to take that. That. I mean, I can't, just me uh, personally, I can't go out there and watch my brothers grind the way they do and not and not me be able to be involved. There's just no way I can do that. So well, with that. being your final you know, preseason camp going into this season, is the motivation at an all-time high, you know, just to show? It's always been the same, uh, the win games. I'm very competitive, as you all know. And uh, this year, just having the team we have, they're, they're, they're always being competitive as well. We're just going to try to put the pieces together and keep on working day in, day out during this fall camp. There's obviously been a lot of staff changes, but Jeremy's back for his second year. What does that do to your comfort level? Just feel like you kind of know what, what to expect from him a little bit more than last year and has that, does that mean? I'm even more uncomfortable. You know, you can't never be comfortable. That's being satisfied. That's a downfall. And um, having Pruitt here his second year makes me even more hungry because I know what he wants as a coach. Um, this whole coaching staff is nothing but winners. And we just need that, you know, to just carry on throughout the whole team. And I just can't wait to see what's going to happen this season. Do you consider yourself the alpha male of the receivers? Uh, I'm alpha male anywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's next, uh, you know, for, for the dog side, that's Juwan Jennings. What's next, you know? Um, well, um, I say at 120, we got special teams being. Are you passing on that, uh, that motto to anybody else? <laughs> uh, I, and hopefully it just be carried on. I don't have to pass it. If you see me out there, you see me. Do you feel, do you see any difference in Jeremy this year versus last year? I know he's talking about trying to get to know the players a little bit better. Do you see, do you sense any difference in him? Like I said, even more hungry, even more hungry to win. You know, it's just, it's just a mentality. That's all it is. And I just can't wait, like I said, for this fall season to kick off. That's when time will tell. Jerry Garantano said he wants to be the best quarterback in the country. Talk a little bit about the talent and skill set you see out of him. Um, great quarterback, great leader. You know, he's going to come out here and work. In, work. I would curse, but I'm not going to curse, but he's going to work his tail off each and every day. Um, he just believes in us as we believe in him, and we're just going to keep taking this a day in and day out. What do you, Marquez, and some of the other guys in this receiving core, you are pretty much one of the more experienced position groups on this team. How much responsibility do you feel because of that? Uh, we take we take a lot of responsibility um, as a whole on this team. Um, we're definitely we're definitely a, um, a go-to outlet for this offensive team, and um, we're just gonna just be there when the running backs are falling. And when we're not good, the running backs gonna pick us up. So you know, it's just a it's a working hand in hand. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you.